How well do five different technologies remove grit? In this two minute update, we'll help you, the Wastewater Pro, see how these technologies remove grit. Let's get started. Grit removal efficiency measures how much grit enters and how much grit exits the system. The grit removal efficiency is the percentage of the grit the technology removed. Let's see how these five technologies perform when comparing their advertised removal efficiencies. The top technology is the forced vortex grit chamber with baffles. The V-Force baffle and the variable inlet and outlet baffle technology had the highest grit removal efficiency with 95% of 105 micron coming in first place. The stack tray design, which uses settling, came in next with a grit removal efficiency of 85 to 95% of 105 micron. Full disclosure, the stack tray's grit removal efficiency drops at peak flow when compared to average conditions. Tied for third place were two other settling technologies, aerated grit basins and detriters, both at 95% of 200 micron. Coming in fifth place was sloped bottom grit chambers. They had a grit removal efficiency of 95% of 300 micron, 85% of 210 micron, and 65% of 150 micron. When researching slope designs, always consider the effects of unwanted and excessive organic capture and less than advertised efficiencies. Why are they less efficient? They are often undersized for the slope floor design and fail to account for settling principles, which prevents them from even meeting these stated efficiencies. When you sum up these results, hydraulics and the forced vortex grit chamber with baffles outperforms all settling technologies. Visit gritthefacts.com for more info. That's it for this two minute industry update. I'm Brady Goodman, and we'll see you next time.